Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In uh, this clip, we're gonna have a look at how you use the Tranja stove in conjunction with the gas converter kit so that we um, get a faster boil and a cleaner flame, which means less scrubbing of pans. Um, so in your silver DV expedition, you'll have one Tranja stove, which is powered by meths, the same as at bronze, um, and then your second Tranja stove will be powered by gas. And that's what we're looking at during today's session. Um, the meths burning parts of the Tranja stove are still given to you as part of your kit. So inside here you'll see that we've got the handle, but we've also got the three elements of the meths burner. You won't need those um, when you're using the gas converter kit, but we give them out to you anyway, and we check that they're still there at the end when you hand back your kit, okay? So we've got the two pans inside here, which are nested together. Um, and then we've got the two parts of the stove um, sort of body. Uh, make sure you don't lose the strap, put that somewhere safe where it won't get melted or trodden into the mud. Um, it's uh, easier to attach the gas converter kit to the base before you put the windshield on, um, just makes it a little bit less to handle. Um, and so inside your bag here, you'll find your uh, gas converter attachment. Um, the uh, easiest way to start off with this is to poke the, the hose through the, the, the um, hole where the burner sits and then poke it out through the side here um, so that you've got the fuel line running through the base and out the hole. Um, and then the converter kit just sort of clips in uh, onto the base um, like this and, uh, and sits nice and flat to the base, okay? Um, the uh, gas line then gets converted, uh, then gets um, uh, connected to your gas canister. Uh, the little plastic clip on the top is only a dust cap. It doesn't matter if you don't put it back on at the end. Don't leave it in the grass. Make sure that it, um, uh, make sure that it ends up in a bin, but uh, it's not really essential. And they're quite fiddly to get off, to be honest. Um, fixing the gas uh, canister to the, um, to the threaded connector here, it's usually easiest if you hold the connector still and you twist the gas, okay? Um, just saves the fuel line getting twisted round and tangled up, okay? And uh, then once that's connected, you can make sure that your gas is sitting um, a safe distance away. Um, the uh, stove is easier to light um, when you don't have the windshield on because it means that you can bring your match in from the side rather than going in from above. That can be pretty unpleasant, especially with the gas stove because it is so much more powerful and hotter than the meths burner that you were using um, uh, last year at bronze. Um, so because it's quite a still day today and there's not much in the way of wind, I'm gonna be able to light this stove from the side. If it was windy and you did have to light it with the, with the, the windshield on, um, then it's quite handy to have very, very long matches, okay? So that you can get them in there without having your hand over the top because this flame is incredibly hot. So uh, lighting the, um, the, the stove, um, it's quite helpful if, if there's two of you, then one of you can light the match and get that ready while the second one turns on the gas supply. Um, if you're on your own, then uh, we'll just turn on the gas and you'll hear it come out, um, you'll hear it start to hiss and then I'll light the match near to the flame. So the roar of the flame is quite unmistakable. You absolutely, uh, you know, can definitely tell that this one's lit. Um, with the meths burner, when we were using that last year at bronze, um, we used to hold our hand above to test to see if it was hot enough. Um, with, with, this, uh, with this gas flame, you can almost always hear it. If you do test for it by using your hand, start off very, very high up and then just come down very, very slowly until you can feel the heat, okay? Because uh, remember, this flame is incredibly hot. So putting the, the wind burner on next, over the top, twist it round until the bayonet attachments um, connect so that you've got a nice stable place to, uh, to support your pans. Um, and then even at bronze, we were, we were reminding you that it's, it's uh, the safest if you've got your water already in your pans before you put your pans over the top so that they don't get too hot. And then adding the water to the dry, hot pan could be quite dangerous because it will spray you with, with steam. Um, so it's absolutely essential with the, with the gas burner that you do that because putting the pan onto the burner without any water in it, the pan will get very, very, very hot very, very quickly and then it will be dangerous to add the water. Now your gas burner um, is going to be a very, very fast way of boiling water. So it's going to be pretty good for bringing things to the boil quickly, um, but uh, might not be the best way to simmer some sort of meal like a kind of pasta in sauce or, or reheating something, okay? 
Um, so actually you might decide that what you want to do is to use your gas tranger for the fastest bits of your cooking and then have the, the, the meths one going ready to simmer the food on. So you might be transferring pans from one to the other, okay? Remember that the uh, lids are easiest to pick up and put down if you keep them that way up. If you turn them this way up, just a bit more fiddly to get on and off, okay? Um, and there we go, that should boil in, uh, in no time at all. Um, the uh, final things to remember about the, uh, the gas converter kit, just in terms of um, uh, when you get towards the end of your gas canister, um, it's okay to put the gas canister on the side. You'll notice the difference that makes to the amount of gas that comes through. But you must never light the tranger with the gas canister in any position other than upright, okay? It needs to be upright like this in order for you to be able to light it safely. But when you're running low on gas, putting it on its side can help to get uh, some extra gas out. And then finally, as it gets really, really low, turning the gas canister completely upside down and just resting it up against something so it doesn't fall over will get you the last dregs of the gas out with some, uh, still some power, okay? But for most of the time you'll be using it, it'll just sit upright like this. So turning it off, just involves twisting the valve shut and then remember that the burner itself is going to be incredibly hot so uh, you just need to make sure you give that enough time to cool down before you disassemble the stove and that's it that's how to use a gas tranger so one gas one meths burner a uh, silver and then by the time you get to gold you, both of your trangers will be gas um, and you'll notice that unlike with your meths burning there's uh, very little soot that's on the bottom of the pan, so that means it's a slightly quicker job cleaning up at the end.